Good morning, modern steaders. Hey, I don't know if you can see this or not. I just noticed it. The moon's out. Right there. That looks pretty neat. We need to boil some sap today, but the first thing we need to do is we need to make sure the sap in the 55 gallon drum didn't get too warm. We got my thermometer right here, and let's see what the temperature is. There's ice on the top here, so that's a good sign. Right, let's try this again. There we go. Definitely ice in the bottom of it. Well, it's frozen in there, so we're not gonna get a temperature. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera or not. You can kind of tell. That's all ice in there. The ducks like it near the outdoor kitchen. I don't know if they like seeing their reflection in the glass or, or what their deal is. But they've been having fun hanging out by the glass every day. It's not quite level, but if you look right here, the 32 gallon mark is here. The 30 gallon mark is here. So I'm gonna call that within the 55 gallon drum, 30 gallons. Let's get started with this. Now I'm curious to see if I hear in the comments, hey, you got a flat tire. You just noticed that, so let's fix that. A little portable tire inflator I keep in my truck that comes in handy. Now I put slime in one of my front tires, but I think that was the other one. So I have to keep an eye on this tire. Might have to get some slime for this one too. Having a nice little portable air compressor like that to blow up your tires is a good thing to have on the homestead. I'm gonna call that good for now, and I'm gonna boil this down quite a bit, and then we'll add some more sap to it. Time to get this thing fired up.
have a problem with our propane tanks freezing up. People said put them in a barrel with water. They don't fit in a five gallon bucket. Somebody else said, why don't you use one of your concrete totes and add water to it? I thought that was a great idea. So today's experiment, let's find out adding hot water to the tote is gonna keep my it's gonna keep the tank from freezing up. That little trick works, that's gonna be a quick, easy hack to keeping your propane tank from freezing up. Fingers crossed. We'll find out here in a few minutes. So far it's working good. So this tank has been running for about an hour and a half, and it ran out of fuel. It wasn't a full tank, it was a partial one that we had lying around, and it didn't freeze up. Usually when they're low like this, that's when they freeze up on us. But it didn't freeze up, no ice, very little bit of ice on the bottom here, and it used up everything. That is awesome. So far, the water bath is working. Look at that, we've dropped a good three to four inches of sap already. So we're gonna add some more to it before we light it.
So it's been taking it's been taking about a half hour to boil down between four and six inches of sap out of our pot before I need to re-add. different this time. I'm nice and dark. It's like a dark shadow. The first strain, I'm going to be using what we normally use, which is cheesecloth from our 23 gallon stock pot to our smaller stock pot that we'll do on the wood stove. And I'm going to try for the final strain or filter into the mason jar. I'm going to try a coffee filter ladle it in at a time and see how that works. Get our cheesecloth prepped and ready. Alright, the sap is ready to get strained for the first time. Just in case there's any soot on the bottom of the pan. This is my issue with trying to strain it better, is it's too darn slow. I don't have patience for that. And that's why I don't use the coffee filter. It's like we need an in-between filter. We need something that's a little bit thicker than a cheesecloth, but not as fine as a coffee filter. It'll take a little while to get that boiling again, but right now the stove is up to 500 degrees, so it should go pretty quick. I got the propane tank out of the water now. Can you see the ice? Not crazy, but all the way solid. Oh, it's like a mold, but it doesn't slow it down from burning. The sap's been on the wood stove. I put it on the wood stove right around three o'clock, so it's been between 10 and 15 minutes, and we are already up to a nice boil. 211 degrees. This last pot here is where you really gotta keep your eye on. This is where it can go from sap to syrup to candy like that. You'll take your eye off it for a second, and the next thing you know, it'll be from 214 to 221. It's like, whoa! So you're just gonna keep an eye, a good eye on it at this stage. I've never had our pot this full, so I keep getting scared that it's gonna boil over when it foams up like this. That would make a sticky mess, man. Ooh! So close. It's at 219 and it's been holding there steady for a couple minutes now. But we got a nice drip and it's got a good hang time. Right there. 
So I'm gonna call it right here. I don't wanna burn it or turn it into candy. Sometimes we'll get soot on the bottom of this pan from the wood cook stove, so this way we keep it nice and clean. This to me is looking like the fullest pot of syrup that we've made so far. I don't dare try to pour this full pot. I'll make a mess and lose a lot of that good syrup. Good right there. Talk about some sticky goodness. That's what this is. So last time we got six pints, caught myself there, of syrup from 30 gallons of sap. So let's see how we do this time. I am so glad we have our outdoor kitchen. This comes in so handy for boiling syrup and Finishing off the sap where we're having this sticky mess in the house. Better go get another jar. I only brought six out. That's a good problem to have though. So this time we got six and a half jars out of 30 gallons of syrup and it took us four hours less than last time. This time we were able to boil all that in eight hours and the last time it took us 12. It cost us about another tank of propane, so another 15 bucks to do it. It's been fun experimenting with making maple syrup this year and doing different techniques. Doing it on the burner outside, finishing it up in the house on the stove, didn't work so well. Bringing it out here, finishing up on a smaller propane burner, worked well. Or using the wood cook stove, because we have that going, it's my favorite way of doing it. So, it's been fun, I'm excited, it tastes delicious, and we've made off the top of my head, I'm going to say two and a half to two and three quarters of maple syrup this year. That is awesome. I'm going to go in the house, clean up my mess, get lids for the jars, bring them in. It's been another great day here making maple syrup. Just had a blast doing this. Now is a perfect opportunity to subscribe to the channel. Go down below, hit notifications, and ring the bell to turn on notifications. And we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.